Hello everyone. This is the Faithful Planner Girl and I'm back bringing you the December Daily Part 6 I believe we're on now and I left off last time showing you how I made this little shaker box. If you went to the very end of the video it sounds like I stopped my video but if you go a little further you'll see exactly how I did this. And that video showed you how this little flip up came up and we were on day eight. So that's my side of the page. And then I added just a few of these other little um, glitter sequins. And um, yeah, I wasn't intending to do that, but it turned out cute anyways. <laughs> And I just added a chipboard star on here. And I call that page done. So I went a little further. I'm sorry, I don't have these on video. Um, I had a little incident and my tripod here crashed to the ground. Yes, I'm a klutz and I broke it and my darling husband fixed it for me so I can get hands-on. I can't hold my camera and do these things. So it's been a, quite a few days since I was able to get back to this and that is why. So I apologize. But here's a little tag I made just out of stickers and the little um, number from the Illustrated Faith papers that I'm using and I cut this out from one of the papers too. And I did my scripture on here. And then on the next side, I did the up next scripture with our day 10. So I'll just add that to it. I just punched a couple little holes and made that tag. Um, then I went ahead and I've got some more pages done. This is a wood, um, I don't know what you call them, the little wood veneer. It has a tree on it and I just don't know if I should leave it blank like this. I've been kind of wondering if I should try to do that with some gold foiling. And yes, I bought some true gold foiling. This I found over at Michael's Recollections um, Glitter Embossing Powder. So I do finally have some good embossing powder of gold. So I don't know. Um, give me some comments down below if you want to see this in gold, if you think it will work. Normally I will do them before adhering it to the page. That way if I don't like it, I can flip it over and use the other side and just leave it blank. But I've already adhered this down. So that's why I'm questioning, what should I do? I use the stickers from the Marion Bright's um, stickers. So I just took off Christ and put that down. And um, I used a C from one of their little die cuts that come in the package. So I added that in and I adhered it with the double-sided sticky foam tape, which is just, I use just a roll that you can find anywhere, any hardware store, Michaels, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, wherever you, Walmart, anywhere you shop, you can find the double-sided sticky tape, and that's what I used. So, there's that page. And on here, I decided to just go ahead and write my scripture on some vellum. Just get some clear vellum at any hobby shop or online at Amazon. And I just went ahead and wrote my scripture down after I had put this where I want it. And yeah, it's just a nice little subtle look to it, but you can still see the print of the ribbons coming from the backside. 
So day 11. And then I have this next page. I have another wood veneer. And I'm going to definitely leave this one blank because I don't think it would look good with gold on top of gold. I have, this is some vellum that has been printed with just this gold vellum. It came like that. I believe I got that at Michael's quite some time ago. And it just looks so pretty put down on top of this limey green. It kind of tones that green down a bit and it really looked pretty. But I'm going to keep this, like I said, just, just plain. The gold would be too much and I think it would just clash. Probably not the right color gold. And I just put in a couple of cards, as you can see. I'm trying, you guys, not to have the glare so much. I've put lights behind me instead of in front of me. I'm trying everything I can, but this is the season that everything is so dark in my craft room here. So please bear with me. Um, I just keep angling these lights. This was a little um, folders that I bought together. I'll show you the different ones that came with a, in a kit, a different, it all came together. There were ones like this that's a matchbook. And you can write scriptures on here. So if I need a big one, I'm thinking this might really help to add others. So I might be doing that and you just slip it inside the pocket like that. Here's another one. I can cover up the front and change it up a little bit. These are really nice. They're fast, easy, and I can put scriptures on those. Here's another one. Oops, it would go this way, but inside the pocket, a four by four is the size. And I can also add some of these. So I'd have those also. And these are just little, I might just write some scriptures on here also and stick those down in there. Cute little folder that just holds on to them with the little tags. And here's one more that came. And it's also very cute. You could put some more pictures on here, or do whatever you want. Put pictures in the middle of the scripture. Who knows? So we'll see what I can do with those a little bit later. And back to this one. All I did was put on another little cutout from the papers. And again, that little number tag. I found one of the chipboards and stuck that there. And this already came on this little, with this folder. This is what you got, a plain card that says Mary. So I went ahead and did my scriptures on this. And then I can just slide it right back in and have it sitting inside here. Get this back where it belongs. Okay, so this is number 12, day 12. Oops, must be something on the other side. Yep, it's not wanting to go in. Come on now. Always when you're on camera, right? Just is fighting. Okay, got it. So that is my done page for 12. And on the other side, this is why it wouldn't go in. I also put that with a little double sided sticky tape and popped up this little coffee mug and cut that out of the papers from Illustrated Faith. Give me Jesus and coffee. 
and this Cheers was in the um, Mary and Bright, I believe. Um, I think it was that one. So I just put a little doily behind it and cut it so it would stay down. Notice that little corner, I'll fix it later, is up on the side. But anyways, that's my pages that I put there so I can add some more pictures to this later on. And then I'm up to page 13 here. And what these little things are, oh yes, and I also did some on this other page too, if you noticed. These are just little red gems. And I'm believing they also came from Michael's Recollections. And this is how they come on this little back. You pull them off from the adhesive. The whole thing has a strand of some sticky tape on the back side. So they'll just pull out and you can just line up a whole page. Instead of doing two, I did just the one here. And that is a special effect. Uh, it's called bling on a roll. <laughs> so there's the ISBN number. If you want to find that. This is a different kind of ribbon that I already had in my stash. I just cut that. And um, I adhered some more little bling. I just cut off a few single ones and dressed up the page. And this is just like washi tape, but it's not washi. It's more of a plasticky vinyl. And those flowers are all cut out. So you can see right through that tape. And now I am going to start working on December 14. I'm trying to be play catch up here. This is another printable that I found online. It's free. I just printed it out and then wrote my scripture on it. So this is pretty much what I'm up to now. And I will find the tag for the 14th and put that somewhere on it or the next page over. And I thank you for joining me back here for my December daily. Make sure, if you haven't already, see the other ones. I'll have them linked in the comments so you can watch the first few days of my December daily. Thank you for being here and continually watching with me as I grow my album. Thanks again for your support.